Hi guys, this short video is on how to detect and remove rootkits. And I'm going to be talking about two free applications that do just that. They detect and remove rootkits. First one is TDSS Killer and the second one is called Jamer. Now, you're probably asking, what are rootkits? They're nasty little bastards that get on your system and wreak havoc, let me tell you. A rootkit is a program or a set of programs that are designed to obscure the fact that a system has even been compromised and what they do is they download and, ex and execute other malware programs to your computer. They will redirect you to other sites. They will deliver a plethora of advertisements to your computer and they will also prevent you from running programs on your system so as you can imagine this is a very invasive program that can bring your computer to a complete halt so the first thing that you want to do is get rid of it you want to go to this site here and I'll put the link in the description below and you've got the opportunity to download either the TDSS Killer zip file or the TDSS Killer executable. I would recommend the executable file. And as you can see down here, here's a picture of the application there. If you do find out you are infected, this page will tell you exactly what to do and how to get rid of it. Okay? If you scroll down further, it comes to the other utility that I mentioned called Jamer. And if you click on that, it will take you directly to that site. You also have the opportunity to download the .exe file or the .zip file. Download the .exe file. And before you leave this page, guys, please take a look at the FAQ section. There's only six or seven questions and answers. I guarantee you, if you take 60 seconds to look at that, you'll keep money in your pocket. So I've already downloaded these two programs. They're on my desktop, TDSS Killer and Gmer. And before I open these two up, I'd like to mention to you that if your system is infected with a rootkit and you try to run TDSS Killer, there's a very good chance the program will not run. The, the rootkit sees it as a rootkit killer and it will prevent it from running. But I've got a trick that will save you from paying $80 an hour to have somebody else do the same thing that I'm going to show you. You right click on the shortcut. Oops, don't know why that didn't work. You go down to rename, and you change the name to anything that you want. I'm going to change mine to 123.com and hit enter. And what this does is it prevents the rootkit program from seeing that this is an anti-rootkit program. And this will allow you to run it. So you just double click on that, you run it check it for updates and then you start scan and this is a very quick program usually it takes me uh, less than a minute to to run it uh, it's very quick and fast so uh, we'll be sh we should be done here in a second and it didn't find any threats out of 282 objects I guess I'm lucky so we're going to close this out and close this out and go to Gmer. Double click on that twice and run it. This program takes a little bit longer. First it's scanning your system. It uh, only takes maybe 10 or 15 seconds. And after that's done then you come down to scan and the scan begins. Now this is going to take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. I'm not going to put you through that, so I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done. Okay, and it looks as if we're done. Unfortunately, with this piece of software, there isn't any um, obvious indication that the scan's over. You just don't see any activity in the lower left-hand corner. And if we did have an infection, it would be up here at the top in red. And since we don't see that, that's a fantastic thing. 
so these are two excellent free pieces of, of software that can um, detect and remove root kits and you don't have to download both of them but since they're free why not and one can back up the other one just in case it doesn't find it so anyway that's it and uh, we'll see you in the next video